What is virtualization? That's a great question, given that we use virtualization every day when we access the cloud and cloud services. Today's computers have tons of processing power, including super fast CPU speeds, fast RAM that's inexpensive, and tons of storage capacity. But is that computing power being used efficiently? Unfortunately, the answer is no when the hardware and processing power is underutilized and the electricity is wasted. Virtualization helps solve the problem of underutilized resources by creating a virtualization layer between the hardware components and the user. This enables the creation of virtual machines, which are virtual computers that can run in multiple on a single set of hardware. The virtualization layer creates virtual hardware components for the virtual machine, also called the VM. In this image, you can see that the virtual machine or virtual computer needs all of the same components that a regular computer does. It needs storage. It needs access to a keyboard. It needs network interface cards or NICs. It needs processing and it needs RAM. Virtualization takes those physical resources and turns them into virtual resources for the virtual machine. Many virtual machines can be created on a single host computer. In this image, the computer is running two virtual machines, VM1, which is running the Windows operating system, and VM2, which is running the Ubuntu Linux operating system. These virtual machines are on top of the virtualization layer being managed by VMware Workstation. There are lots of benefits to virtualization. Increased efficiency in multitasking because you can run multiple computers instead of just a single computer running on your computer hardware. You can run multiple operating systems or multiple computers on a single set of hardware. It also increases manageability or the ability to move, copy, and isolate virtual machines. Sustainability with increased energy savings by using less computer hardware and therefore less electricity. Increased availability with the ability to snapshot virtual machines, clone virtual machines, and run redundant virtual machines. And increased security by isolating virtual machines from one another and isolating them from the core system, as well as isolating applications and the ability to run legacy applications that wouldn't be possible sometimes on a regular company computer.